Welcome to my first impressions of the Huawei Nova 5T. This is Huawei's new mid-range monster. It comes out around November the 8th, and I'll put all those links in the description for you guys, and it's gonna be 399, like available from most major retailers. The last couple of days I've been testing this, I've really liked the weight of it in the hand. It doesn't feel too light or it's not too heavy. I like the full screen, I like the glass on the back, and I also like the edges and the button placements on this phone. The thing just works. Super, super dig the color, but I would assume or hazard a guess that most of you buying this are just gonna throw a case on it. Still sticking with the back of this phone, you can see we've got the Huawei logo there, and then on the polar opposite side, we have some sort of crazy camera array. Yeah, this is a quad camera array. Four cameras. Oh, five cameras, because there's one on the front as well. On the right-hand side, switching things around, you've got a volume rocker right above and absolutely awesome. Now, I think this is one of my favorite power buttons on any phone, because it's so, 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 so big. Doubles as a super, super rapid fingerprint scanner. Like, phone locked, phone unlocked. It is absolutely rapid, like, unreal. It's one of my favorite things about this phone. Click it, and you're in. USB-C next to, well, quite a hefty speaker and microphone setup. Now the phone is 2.9 inches this way and 6.1 inches down here, and it has an edge-to-edge -edge screen with a hole punch for the front camera. Now this is a complete edge-to-edge -edge screen in a budget phone. The screen has a resolution of 2340 by 1080 and is an LCD panel on here. Now the screen is plenty sharp enough and I think that's really what most people care about. It also gets bright enough. I've had no problem viewing it outside. So inside here you've got the Kirin 980 octa-core processor, six gigs of RAM, and then that has 128 gigs of storage for you to do as you please. Fill it with 960 FPS slow-mo video or all of the photos from the four cameras on the back that you're clearly going to be taking. More on that later. The only other thing that I've really noted with this phone is that the battery life is better than good. It's not great, it's better than good though. So I got to this point in my review and I was sat here thinking, right, okay, so everything seems pretty good with this phone. How can I portray this? And I thought the only way to actually portray this is real world tests. So I thought, what do people do on their phones? Okay, so I'm gonna bring the phone in, unlock it like that, I'm gonna swipe over, and I've installed Call of Duty here, so... Uh... Now I can tell you as I'm running around here playing Call of Duty Go that this is definitely running at 60 hertz. Like, this is, this is a really, really smooth gaming experience. I never used to be like the huge or biggest phone gamer in the world. There's one, two, three, and I need to get this last little guy here. Let's see if I can get him, got him, there we go. Got a UAV. Yeah, this thing is really, really nice to game on, and this is a flagship game, so it can it's gonna pretty much run anything you want it to. You're definitely gonna be able to sit there and uh, scroll Instagram and then quickly go to Spotify, change your tunes. Like, this phone is absolutely rapid. Okay, so now let's jump to the part of the video that I think the majority of you have been waiting for, the selling point of this phone, those four cameras on the back. Like, I just can't believe that this phone has five cameras on it in total. That is crazy. So we've got a 48 megapixel shooter on the back. We've also got a 16 megapixel shooter, a two megapixel shooter and another two megapixel shooter and those are both bokeh and macro lenses. Now the photos from the main 48 megapixel shooter in my testing in nice light outside were lovely and sharp, not over sharpened, they weren't over contrasty like a lot of these mid-range phones are. They were just very, very nice photos, especially viewing them on a screen of this size, absolutely brilliant. Literally, couldn't complain. Now this phone also has an ultra wide camera. Now these ultra wide cameras, especially as they are so new in phones, I definitely think are there for a fun factor, not a serious photography factor. I think taking photos is something that everybody does with their phone, so everybody can appreciate it. Yeah, this mid-range budget phone has got a bokeh mode, which blurs out the background and makes the foreground or what's in from focus stand out. And then you've also got a, uh, yeah, a macro mode. It has a macro mode on it. Like, that's cool. Now, I actually would like to give you guys a little bit more of a demo of this camera, so I have got some colorful objects here, and you guys can just make judgments uh, for yourself. So we have our softbox in the back there, but the camera's doing a really good job. Absolutely crazy. Wow, that is impressive, isn't it? Now let's get a bit of red in here so we can see how much these colors are popping or not so, ching. One thing I don't really see that often is 4K30 video recording in a phone like this. Now this does have that and this is an example of that in our set. 
you were thinking of using this phone for any sort of video work, this is the 4K quality out of it in a well-lit room and kind of dampened with carpet. Listen to the audio, it's coming straight from the phone. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Here's some clips of us walking around the shops, just simply handheld, and these shots are coming out really, really, really steady. Very nice. So now we only have our single little hole punch camera on the front. It's still a little bit of a beast though. I'm gonna take you guys a little selfie here. So like I say, I've been using this Huawei Nova 5T for the last couple of days. I think, well, thus far, it's pretty much a steal. It does everything well as far as software. It plays games nicely. It browses social media nicely. It plays a nice little bit of music for you. It has a plethora of cameras. It has a full edge-to-edge -edge screen. It's under 500 quid. So I suppose you guys will have to sit buckled for the full review. But for now, my name's been Alex. This has been TechFlow. This has been the 5T. And we will uh, see you in the next one. Adios.